everyone welcome or welcome back to epicartdesigns.com if you are new here make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this before i get into today into today's video i did want to let you guys know that we have new graphics on our website all the graphics that i'm going to be using to design today i did get them from off, from out of one of our graphic bundles so if you're interested visit the link in the description to purchase these also, I did want to say thank you to all our new Patreon subscribers. If you haven't joined our Patreon and you want to know like our printer suppliers, where we get our paper from, go ahead and check that out. I'll link it in the description below as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a funeral program booklet. Um, now, this is going to be in real time and we're going to be using the free version of Canva. Now, my process is not 100% smooth. I do be kind of having like miss ups and just a whole lot of hiccups and decisiveness. So I might skip those parts out. But for the most part, I'm going to be showing you guys my whole process. So let's get started. So I have Canva up. This is Canva.com. I will link it in the description if you do not know about Canva. You can create a ton of templates. I'm pretty sure they have funeral program templates on here as well. So I'm just going to create a, de a design. And I do print these booklets so I have my sizes and everything right. So I'm going to set this to make sure my units are in inches and the width will be 17 and the height will be 11. And I'm just going to create a design. Canva do have like preset sizes where you can kind of, it's already, everything is already set. Now I'm just going to, these are my rulers and guides by the way. I'm just going to take that, oops, take that and I'm going to drag it. So that is at 8.5 and no 8.5 is the size of your booklet once it's folded. So that's how you know what I guess like the size of it is. Okay, so I'm going to start with my front cover. I like to start with my front cover because it kind of lays out like the whole kind of style and color of the whole booklet. It's much easier like that. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and get my person. I did generate an AI person, so I'm going to just use that. So I like to, depending on what I'm going for, see this might change in the middle, but I'm just going to remove the background for now. Okay, so the color that I want for this booklet, let's see. Hmm. Should it be like the colors? I think let's try to go for like a brown. I, I'm going to do it darker though. So let's go for like a dark brown. Okay, so I don't know if you see it, but it's kind of like white edges around her hair and stuff that I really don't like. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to adjust. And then we're going to turn on the vinaigrette. Vine I hope I'm saying it right. We're going to turn on this here so that it kind of fades that off around her edges so it's not as bright. And then I like to kind of turn the clarity up on the photo a little bit more, just like that. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm going to go over to Lunapic. And this is what I use to um, kind of fade out the background. If, um, you know, if, just in case you're not using um, Photoshop. So I'm going to... It, um, choose my background really quickly and kind of fade out this background. So I'm going to use this one. Okay, perfect. So I faded out my background. I'm going to go ahead and kind of crop it onto this page here so that it fits and also it did lose kind of like it's um coloration and kind of depth i would say so i'm just gonna adjust this picture So let's go to elements and I'm going to search for a transparent gradient 
And I like to use this particular one here because it's nice and short. And I just like to put this around the edges. I think, I don't know, it just does something to the picture that I like. And I try to go darker than what the actual program is. That, that may be too dark. So, let's do that. For a little bit more. And I'm going to put it on the other end as well. Okay, so now for this, I think I may want to fade her photo at the bottom. I'm not sure. Okay, no, we're not going to fade that at the bottom because her name will be like right here. So let's go to Luna Pick again. Let's add another photo. Okay, perfect. So I have my swans. As you can see, they're kind of blue. So we're going to change that. Let me crop this first. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this with duotone. And if you don't really know your ropes around Canva, I suggest you look at like a course before watching this video. Because you will need to, you know, like know Canva a little bit. Perfect. Now my uh, the swans kind of look like the brownish color kind of matches this program here. And all I did was change the highlights. You could play around with the intensity and the shadows to see if like that's how you prefer. But I'm just going to leave that black for now. Okay. And then let's just move this up so it kind of fits this here. And by the way, I'm going to add gold in there too. I'll show you guys how you can get that gold effect. If you want to bring her down some so that her uh, cut off bottom is not showing, you could do that. I think I like it like that. I'm also going to find some bokeh as well. Now this is not in the um, Runeru. This is not in the bundle, so... I'll make one if you guys would like these, then I will make one. So let me know in the comments below if you would like these, then I can make one just like this. So yeah, I'm putting the bokeh in there, maybe on top of this. And maybe she can be like on top of it. I'm gonna, because I think it's like, oh, not that one. It may be a little bit too much. Okay, I'm going to choose to leave it like that. And by the way, this is something really light. I will say this design is beginner level. Because this is not the worst that... I mean, not the worst, I'm sorry. But this is not how difficult it can really be. It can be way more harder than this. So, also, if you want a shadow behind her... You could do that. There. I think I'm going to leave the shadow. I think I like it. Make her bigger. Okay, so that actually looks really good. So my mic kind of cut out while I was showing you guys how to achieve this gold look here. So let's do it. So first of all... You just want to open another slide and you want to find a metallic gold gradient, like something like this. Make sure that it's not textured. Just make sure that it's just smooth. Now, next, you want to find a font. So the font I have here is a free font on Canva called Belosta Script. Make sure I was worried that this font was a little bit too thin, but it worked out at the end. So just make sure that it takes up this whole page here. Um, make sure your font isn't too thin and then you want to just turn the opacity down or transparency down to 42. And you're going to go ahead and download just this page as a um, PNG. And once you have that downloaded, we're going to drop it right here on the page just like that. And then you want to remove the background. Just like that. So as you can see, this one is more... You know has a little more color so we're gonna edit this we're gonna add a shadow first 
I'm going to turn the intensity down to that shadow because I don't like it to be really pop like that. So now I'm just going to go to adjust and we're going to turn the vibrance up, turn the saturation up, and then we're going to turn the contrast up just like that. And all you have to do is put it on your thing, on your stuff, just like that. Really easy, really simple. Okay, so next I did put the last name. So the last name font is Senzel. All this, all these fonts on here is Senzel, and this one here is Caladella. So now that we have the front cover, we're gonna go ahead and move to the back cover. And basically, what I do is kind of duplicate this that's on this page, so that it lines up. Gonna delete this name. And I try to make it a little different so that, yeah, so that it's not quite the same. You can switch the backgrounds up if you like. And then I'm just going to add all the um, text on here. Okay, so now that I have all this on here, this these fonts here are Slope Script Pro and the rest is Caladella. It's the same thing. And then... We're gonna add a page. This is a four page, by the way. You're gonna add a page and then you guys are gonna see me fill in all the information there. So basically I do the same thing, which is copy these backgrounds here. And this is for beginners, so it's really simple. I'm not trying to make it too difficult. If you wanna see more like challenging designs, you can go to our Patreon, join our Patreon, cause I have really challenging things that I've shown there. So yeah, I'm just going to copy all the text here and I have my text pre-written out as well. So that's why it's easy for me to just copy it over. Okay guys, so I have everything copied over. Feel free to add like a row of pictures right here if you like. Um, So yeah, this is basically it. This is a four page program. If you have any questions about anything that I did in this video, let me know down below. And that is all for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and you learned something. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Also, don't forget anything that I use in this video. Every element is in our graphics bundle. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description. And if you want more in-depth tutorials or more difficult designs you want to challenge, go ahead and join our Patreon because they are all on there. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one.